Right, we need to solve for m plus n, and we have been given 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power n equals 544. And we present a solution to this exponential equation, but we present the solution in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. We have 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power n equals 544. 544? And this is 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power n equals um, 2 to the power 5 times 17. 2 to the power m plus 2 to the power n equals uh, uh, 2 to the power 5. 17 is the same as 2 to the power 4, which is 16 plus 1. This is like 16 plus 1, which is 17. Okay. So, and this means at this point, we can apply here the distributive law of multiplication of the fact that uh, multiplication distributes over addition, all right? So, and uh, we use that property of distribution to then say if you have two to the power m plus two to the power n equals uh, exactly two to the power five into two to the power four plus one. Okay, this is two to the power this, two to the power this, two to the power nine plus two to the fifth power. Now let's continue. And uh, we can write it like this, or we can say it is two to the power m plus two to the power n equals two to the power um, five plus two to the power nine. So we recognize that addition of real numbers is commutative. So we can commute the addition here. Now, a couple of things are important for us. In the first case, we can just, uh, by comparison, we can be able to see, therefore, that M is nine. Right, but also we can see that n is 5. Or, in the second case, we can see that m is 5, n is 9. Okay. So, in essence, these become true simultaneously. So we can write like that. Yeah, this is enough. Right, so we can write uh, this way and say, um, in the first case, m is 9. And um, at the same time, n is 5. Or m is 5 and n is 9. Okay. So what do we do now with this? In both cases, um, hence, okay, obviously, let's say this, uh, where, where, right, where M and N are integers, where M and N are integers, right, Hence, what are we, are we able to achieve here? We're able to achieve the summation here. What is the summation? M plus N is 9 plus 5, which is equal to 14. So in, in both cases, you have 9 plus 5, which is 14, or 5 plus 9, which is 14. So we have... Uh, that this implies that m plus n is equal to 14. But like we are saying here that m and n are integers. They are integers. So now also we continue to then say if m is 2. 
We have two to the power two. Okay, let's start by writing two to the power m, the given question. Right, so we have two to the power m plus two to the power n equals uh, five, four, four. Okay, m is two, so we're just assuming m is two, so we put two to the power two, two to the power n, which equals uh, five, four, four. And we want to actually solve this for n. And so what we're able to obtain here is that two to the power n, two to the power two is four, which is 540. And therefore this means that n is uh, the log of 540 base two. And the log of 540 base two is nine point zero seven. 681 right so this becomes uh, um the value of uh, of n and uh, hence we obtain the sum of m plus n and m is 2 plus 9.07 9 9.07 Right clearly here. Nine point zero seven um six eight one. Right, you add these two things, which means m plus n is eleven point zero seven six eight one. Right, so we have we have been able to achieve uh, the sum here. We are able to see therefore that the summation is uh, this one, 11.07681. Okay, or we have also this one here. We have been able to achieve uh, for the integer values that m plus n is 14, but also we have that m plus n is uh, 11.07681. Right, moreover, right, moreover, if m equals one, m plus n equals five. 44, right, 544, right, substitute m equals 1, which is 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power n equals 544, 2 to the power n is uh, 542 by subtraction, because 2 to the power one is equal to two exactly. So if we actually continue with this, we have two to the power n, which is uh, 542. And this means that n is the log of 542 base two, 9.08. Two and four. 9.08214. 9 okay, now looking at these, we're able to see uh, that uh, thus we have m plus n. Right, we took m to be one, right? So m is one and n is uh, 9.08214. Which means that m plus n equals ten point zero eight two one four, um, which is uh, exactly the same as follows. Right. So we have that m plus n now is uh, is ten point zero. 
Okay, we've got uh, a couple of uh, possible summations. M plus N here came down to 14, where M and N are integers. But uh, here it came down to this, where you have uh, that M and N are real numbers. And not just integers. Okay, also here, you have uh, those solutions where M and N are real numbers. What is then the conclusion here? Right, hence uh, we have that M plus N lies between minus infinity and infinity where M and N are real numbers. Like so. Right. Moreover, right. Moreover, we have infinitely. infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions um, for all M and in R. It's not just we only have integers, but with infinitely many solutions for M and which are real numbers. And therefore, we have solved this particular problem in detail. Yeah, thanks everybody for your time and attention and a very good bye to you.